Hey Digifans and welcome back to Digidom, the series of videos where I take you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to put together your own digital portfolio. A place where you can tell your family, your friends, maybe even the whole world about the things that you like, you dislike, the things that you've done, your achievements, your hopes, your dreams, your fears, any of those things. A place where you can put all the information about you in one place. As always, if you're using a phone or a tablet, you can download the Adobe Spark apps for free. Or if you're using a laptop or a desktop, go to spark.adobe.com where everything's all in the one place. <laughs> So here we are in Adobe Spark. I'm just going to click the button here. And I'm going to open up a web page. So uh, first things first, I'm going to go to all my text. I've got my header here, which is my name. I'm going to pop that in the title. I've got my subtitle. And then I'm going to add in a photo. I've connected to Google Drive here because I've got some photos I'm going to use later down the line. But in this one, I'm going to find a free photo for my header. And I'm going to type in journey because this is all about me and the journey that I've been on. Just a bit of a record of all the places and things and projects that I've been working on. So I'm going to go to text, add in some text, and I've got my introduction. Copy that. I'm going to paste it in there. Now you'll see it was in two sections here and it's put it into two sections there for me. I like that. So uh, that's my kind of introduction about me. And then what I'm going to do is going to go straight into my achievements. I've got my first achievement. Now for you, this could be something about sports. For example, I'm going to use a split layout here. Uh, so I'm going to put in a title and it's called Ted talk because I did a TEDx talk not that long ago. And it was possibly the scariest thing I've ever done. Here we go. Here's the text, uh, pop that text in there. And then also I've got the video of my TED talk and I'm going to stick it in here. I can click video. Now I'm going to put in an image. Uh, I've actually got a photo that I want to put in that somebody took on the day itself here. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the focal point and I'm going to drag it so it's kind of towards the top and then you can see my face in there, which is what I wanted. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to put in another split layout and I'm going to put in my second achievement. Pop this in as a title, Creative Jam, center it. And then I'm going to add some more text in. You can do Control and C or Command and C, depending on what you're using. And then Creative Jam report. I've got a report of the day, which one of my colleagues called Sana gave to me. And I'm going to pop it in there. And when anyone clicks that button, it will take them through to this link. Now, image wise, oh, I've got one from the Creative Jam just here. Select it. And there we go. Here's some of the talented teachers that took part. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my vision. So I'm going to pop that in as H1. And then I'm going to grab this. I'm going to put it in as a quote. I'm going to show you when you change themes, you'll see that actually the, the way the quotes work changes completely. Also changes things like the buttons. Uh, maybe I'll have a look at Trek. What's that like? Nice. Click themes to get that off. Now I'm going to add in a photo grid. Now I'm going to show you how to do this on your computer. Now I've got these files here. I press down shift so I can select them all at once. And what it does is it puts it into this kind of nice collage here. Now I'm going to need to put some text in here as well. Press the plus, paste it in there. Here are some photos from a live lesson I did with the Leo Academy Trust on how to use Spark. Okay, now that we've got that, I'm going to show you how to do the final section. I mean, this time I'm going to use a glide show. Okay, I've got five there because I've got five steps that I want to write about. Save that. And what you'll see is with the glide show is it kind of scrolls through really nicely for you. And it gives you a little box here where you can add in some text. Now, if you want to check it out, you can use this preview screen. I'm going to scroll up to the top here. So I've got my name and my header, a little introduction, my, my first kind of achievement. You just keep scrolling down. You go to the creative jam. Keep going down. You've got my vision. Then I've gone into a photo gallery about these Leo live lessons and then go to my ideal classroom and how I think learning should work. And it's in a glide show. Look at that, how beautifully that scrolls through. Love it. Okay. I like the preview. I'm happy with that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share and you can create a link here. Now, if you 
click that, it'll load up, and then you can just copy and send it to your friends. Bish bash bosh, job done. I hope you enjoyed that, Digifans. I know I did. As always, please do share your work with me using the hashtag Digidom. There it is. Uh, yeah, and find me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer. Share your work with me. I love to see your work and I love to show other people and give you a round of applause and all of those kind of things. As always, if you want to get the videos as soon as they come out before anybody else, you need to subscribe. So subscribe. That's it. That's all I've got. Okay. I'll see you next time on Digidom. Thanks for watching.